go! Hello once again viewers to Let's Play Pikmin! Here with me is Master Spins on his channel of course. Hey Spade Adventures, I'm eating a cookie! Yes, yes you are. <laughs> okay, so last episode was the introductory episode where we got our first ship piece in the impact site. Today we're going to go to the Forest of Hope. The Forest of Hope. The Forest of Hope. The Pikmin music is so nice and peaceful. Yeah, I love the soundtrack. This place has <laughs> this place has a good piece of music. Oh, what oh, yeah. do we have here? My dolphin has returned to the surface along with the Pikmin's onion. Being alone on the strange planet makes me somewhat uneasy. So I shall call the Pikmin out of the onion. All I need to do is stand in, in the light beneath the onion and press A. Okay. Come on, my little suckers. Time to get out of your nest. Yep. Okay, so we're going to break down this wall here. <laughs> but I'm also going to call a, f a few Pikmin back to my side. Uh, because we actually have pellet posies over here. And because of this, we'll be able to grow more Pikmin as uh, they're breaking down the wall. So Brandon, would you like to uh, tell the Spade Adventures what your goal for this Let's Play is? Um, I think I will wait for that another time. Alright, alright. Uh, right now, we'll just let them try to have the idea of what I'm going for. Alright, sounds good to me. Seriously, you came back to my side, you were supposed to grab this! <laughs> this is why I prefer the Wii version, because I'm sure in the Wii version, like, they just automatically grab those things. The pellets. <laughs> They definitely made a lot of improvements over the years, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, okay, so now the wall is broken. But I'm also gonna grab this last Pikmin. That, and then we'll be on our merry way. Anytime. <coughs> really? <laughs> Come on. Okay, we've got 28 more Pikmin on our side, and now we have enemies! <coughs> This is called the Spotty Bulborn. Uh, ah, no, 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 no! Oh, thank you. I <laughs> thought we were going to have our first death in the second episode. That would have actually really sucked. It... Oh, no, no, no! Ah, uh, phew. It's a war zone, now. Yep. So how did you first find out about Pikmin? Um, I, I've, I've known my whole life, honestly. Like, I used to own, my brother used to own the GameCube version when I was four. Oh. So, yeah. Because <laughs> I didn't know about it until uh, Brawl when Alomar was in Smash Brothers. And then Orange Boy, she actually really liked Alomar so much that she she ended up going out to GameStop and buying Pikmin. Yeah, like I've had, like I've had the Wii version, like what for my twelfth birthday, but it went missing. So hmm. I bought another copy, and uh, I ended up being able to play the game again. That's pretty cool. Mm. Mm. Wait, hold on. Why? It's the Eternal Fuel Dynamo! It has an unlimited energy supply. I don't have to worry about saving electricity anymore. This will make my fight for survival a bit easier. So anyways, like, my copy went missing on my 12th birthday, and then I ended up buying another copy, like, two years later. And, like, immediately, because I remembered all the controls, I became a pro at playing it again. And... The Wii version is the only version I played, and, like, I'm more of a pro at that, since you can actually aim your Pikmin where you want to go, on more precise areas. Okay. Not bad. Okay, so we're, we're gonna take this 10 pellet back, and then I think I'll be set. <coughs> Sounds good. 
come back to me, my little babies. Oh my. I'm gonna dismiss them. Yeah, that's that's a good idea, actually. It is a good idea, because look, we have grass over there. What's in the grass, I will show you later. But it would be bad if you tried to do it now, with huge herds of Pikmin. Anyways, yeah. we now have over 50. Uh, let's go and do stuff. You know what's oh. in the grass? Mm. Uh, tangerines. Tangerines. Okay, yes. this Okay, this here is a... Is an adult bulb orb. Like, uh, <clears throat> you want to get behind it and try to kill it as fast as you can. You want to spank its booty. Yes. <coughs> okay, and now that we've gotten rid of that, let's go ahead and have our Pikmin break down this wall. Yep. So, now that I have enough Pikmin, I can actually carry that chip piece back, but I'm going to wait on it for a bit, because there's a little surprise. If you can't, if you haven't t been able to tell already, I, I will give you a hint by what is on this this area so far. Can, can you right. guess? Can you guess? Can, 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 can you guess? Can you guess what I'm standing next to? Can, huh? Huh? Bob the Builder's hat. <laughs> Good guess. <laughs> no. Darn. I totally wasn't purposely failing at guessing. Okay, so the pick <laughs> Okay, so the Pikmin will break down this wall and then we immediately have to kill those ball warps, so Yep. So No uh, oh, oh no. No Oh no, we have no. some Pikmin deaths! What? No. Oh, we have some Pikmin deaths! No, 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 no! Come back, no. come back, come back, come back! No, 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 no! <laughs> spank its booty, spank it! Get it dead! Oh, there was one giving him a foot massage. Okay, I think we'll actually no. be able to kill it now. Oh my god, that was so. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's it's lying on its dead child. Uh, hey, hey, what's well, this? I mean, I guess I guess if you want to say family sticks together. Oh, what do we have here? <laughs> a yellow onion? It's so uh, pretty. I'm, okay, so I'm going to take my Pikmin over here and dismiss them. Huh? Uh, actually, no, I don't want any of my Pikmin to carry that corpse back. Uh, I'll, yeah. I'll dismiss him right here. And then I will go over and pick this. I love how it's just lying on his dead child. <laughs> yep. Oh <laughs> my no. god, it's so cute! Look at its ears! <laughs> the color is different, but it seems to be a Pikmin nonetheless. First glance suggests this one has one in some circles could be considered very large ears. No dip. <laughs> it looks like it may weigh less than the others. In what other ways might it be different from the red Pikmin? No matter, they are obviously quite similar, so I shall call this one a Pikmin as well. It has sonar vision. Because mm -hmm. I totally meant vision instead okay, of Okay, so now we have <laughs> yellow Pikmin. If you couldn't tell by the yellow onion and pellets, well, we've got yellow Pikmin in this game. Yep. I'm pretty sure you all know what... what what color kind of Pikmin there are? My clock has indicated the coming of noon. From now on, I'm. S <clears throat> Excuse me. Up the infamous phone. We will keep recording, nonetheless. <laughs> We're popular. Uh. Yeah. Oh, never mind. <laughs> From now on, I must pay close attention to the sun meter on my monitor and choose my actions accordingly. So it is best for me to review my monitor's data. Okay, so you now get the picture. So we we are now timed on these days. The first day had infinite time because we it was just a starter day. But now that we have time in this game, we must we must like use a strategy for recording these. Not recording these to go about our day. Yeah, Alomar was doing his hair and makeup on the first day, which is why there was no time limit. Anyways, like, now that we've got yellow Pikmin, they will definitely be a big help to us. If you couldn't tell by the yellow pellets, like, yellow Pikmin are obviously a thing. Yep. And they actually do, uh, dif 
some different things within the Pikmin game, which you'll see later. That's correct, Mr. Man. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, so we'll build up our Pikmin population a, a bit more, then I want to take this Bulboard back. <coughs> that is quite true. Why do they keep coming back? <laughs> They're just like, We have no time limit! You do! We have no shame. Exactly. What you doing over here by old lonesome self? I knew that's what they were gonna end up going for. <laughs> They're just like, there is no such thing as po oh my gosh. <laughs> that is that is actually really funny. <laughs> yep. Okay, we'll let's grab these little sproutlings. Lock them. Now that we've got over 10, possibly about 20 yellow Pikmin now, I'm going to pick up this Bulborb and then we'll continue on the day. Because I do <laughs> want to get a couple ship pieces before the day ends. Oh yeah. Okay, okay next we're going to go over here. And what do you know? What are those? It's, it's their candy. It's got like caramel inside. The yellow Pikmin have picked up some peculiar stones. Why did they decide to grab them? This action seems to be instinctive to the yellow Pikmin. But just what are these strange glowing stones? Okay, so these things here are called bomb rocks. And what you do is that you take a Pikmin with a bomb rock and then you throw them at a wall like this one. The bomb rock uh, will then respond to the wall and then, and then the wall will crumble. This can also affect the twig walls as well. Also, I think you can change... Oh, come back! Oh, no, I just had a Pikmin oh. die from Bomb Rock. I think you can actually change what type of Pikmin you have. You can. Um, you can. In red, yellow, or Bomb Rock. Yeah. If, right? you're, if you're holding a Pikmin and you press B, then you're able to switch between what Pikmin you have on you. At least I think it's B. Uh... It's it's something like that. It's either that or it's the um the D pad. And anyways, now that we've got eighty two Pikmin with us, I'm going to Yep. I'm going to kill some babies And if you guys were wondering the other four Pikmin are by the bridge. I think that's Yeah, where I, I, I took them by a bridge so that they could yeah. build over there. Anyways, there's a ship piece up there, and we need to use our yellow Pikmin to get that, because it is pretty high up. Uh, that sheer grab over there will, yeah. will be able to get to us. And then I'm going to assume that you're, at the same time, you're going to try to get the other ship piece. Yeah. Okay, so that should be enough Pikmin up there, and then they'll, they'll be able to carry that back. So I'm going to take my reds, actually, to get the ship piece that's over there. Then I want to grab some more bomb rocks and try to blast down that wall, go into another piece. Oh yeah, that's always a good idea, trying to get the, um, the walls down. Yeah. That also means, like, an extremely productive day, too. Oh. There we go. Oh, I think some got left behind. <laughs> They're just like, nope. Okay, good. Dang, just the right amount. Okay, so we'll have some of our yellows grab some more bomb rocks. There are others over there as well. Yep. And I'm gonna warn you right now, like, over by the wall, those things that came out of the ground were called sheer grubs. There are females and adults. The adults can actually eat Pikmin, but the, sh but the females uh, will, will do nothing. 
So be careful when you go over there and make sure the adults don't kill your Pikmin. That is definitely a true thing right there. Internal Field Dynamo. This should light things up. No more candles for me. I have now recovered two out of 30 parts. If I can just find three more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. We've got another one going back, but I would like to try to... Oh, sorry, little buddy. Okay, so which one... Which button is it? To switch the, uh... Which one to throw? No, like to switch between Pikmin. I, I don't know! Uh, is the D... Is, it's, it's not the B button! It's not the B button! What about what about the D-pad? I've tried the D-pad! Um... Only other thing I can think of is L and R. I'm... But other than that, I don't actually know. I... I'm... I remember it being in this one. Either that or what? just being extremely obnoxious. One of the two. Mm -hmm. Wimp's goal radar. This important part can detect the locations of the other missing parts. The radar will be added to my monitor, which I can press Y to view. C zooms in and out. This will surely help me in my search for the remaining parts. I know. Okay, I just need two more. Yep. Dear God, so much stuff. Okay, so yeah. when okay, so when that tune appears, the day is almost over. good. No Pikmin left behind. Oh no, I can't get to him. He's behind the wall. Oh no. Oh, oh dear. I'd say get get to the ship and go the, get those Pikmin. Yeah. Can I save the ones by the bridge in time? I have no idea. Uh, I, I now have the bridge in my sights. I, I'm uh, they, uh -oh. they've actually completed it. Uh, I'm, I'm on my way. Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. Oh. Well. This is going well. Totally. At least I saved the majority of them, but this is gonna first time I have a Pikmin left behind. Oh man. It sucks. That, that got really close right there. <laughs> I guess I couldn't do anything about it. Yeah. Alright, so it's been about 20 minutes. A good enough length for our second day. Yeah. Oh no! We're gonna watch him get eaten by a ball worm. Ah, no! Oh. I'm so sorry I had to witness that. Everybody tip your hats. <laughs> moment, of, moment of silence for the dead Peakman. Screw that. <laughs> Two days since impact. It appears that my ship's parts have... It seems that many of my ship's parts have landed in this region. If I can just recover the parts of my radar, which I obviously did, I should be able to use my radar screen. How that would improve my chances, then I only have to press Y to locate my parts. Yet... There seem to be many hostile life forms here. If I'm attacked and my spacesuit takes damage, I must return to my ship, stand in front of it, and press A to make the suit repairs. As I explore, I must pay attention to my suit's damage meter in the bottom left corner of the screen. So, we did, uh, we did pretty okay nonetheless, seeing so though how, some Pikmin died. How many did die? One got left behind, but I'm not so sure. Anyways, like, we'll call this an episode. Uh, thanks again for joining us on this wonderful Pikmin adventure. <laughs> I am Brandon. He is Spade Adventurer. Yep, I'm Master Spins from Spade Gals Productions. Um, all I have to say is have a wing of a good day, everyone. Farewell.